but um so I've been on YouTube now for coming up on three years. My goal on YouTube, my goal with my channel has always been to be a girl, be a person excited about my new handbag. I'm not a person on the internet who talks about social justice or racism or complex, you know, societal structures or anything like that. I talk about handbags. What this has shown me is how hard it is to do that and be that when you are a person of color. Um, it's really hard to just be a person because what I've gathered from this is that racism and, and the way people are treated is something that permeates into every single subject. I have always felt that YouTube was like an oasis away from all of that. Or sorry, my YouTube channel has always been an oasis away from that. Um, because that's what I feel, that's what I felt like I needed. And this just reinforces the fact, this Gucci situation, as small and insignificant as some of, some of you may think that it is, it really just reinforces the fact that I, that there is no escape. That when you scratch the surface, everything, it all comes back to this. Like, I think the big problem with this, with the whole Gucci situation is that it didn't occur to them that this might hurt people. And when, and again, that is something that I can understand because there are things that don't occur to me sometimes. And I am aware of that. I'm aware that, I don't, that there are other people and other things to take into account that I may not even have any understanding of. I'm very, very aware of that, but that's because so often no one takes me and my feelings into account. Um, <sighs> is this a bit of a downer? Absolutely. Um, this was my, this was my place where I was supposed to have fun and now I feel like it's been tainted. And that's the thing. I guess that has to do a lot with the boycott because now when I look at that, when I look at that, my favorite, you guys know, my favorite handbag, does it not feel as sweet? And that's something that I'm going to have to grapple with. And I know it's vapid, it's shallow, there's no substance to it, there are, you know, actual people being physically harmed, but if you haven't, if it hasn't occurred to you how the way we treat people affects, affects them, that's, that was grammatically wrong, I apologize. <laughs> if it hasn't occurred to you how the way people are treated, how that permeates into our society, maybe this can be an example. Think about how that causes other people to move through the world, I guess. It's not always life or death, but stuff like this, I'm not going to lie to you, as vapid and shallow and, and, and substanceless, I'm sure I made up that word, shoot me, um, it stings. It really does. But... I guess I'm still gonna carry my bag for now, but I just hope that the feeling of carrying it and seeing it on me just isn't soured. And I, I can't guarantee that that's not gonna happen. So we'll see, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's no happy ending to this story. So I'm just gonna send you back to the rest of the video and yeah, please